Hey guys, my name is Dylan. Um, I'm kind of nervous to make a video like this because I I, I make video uh, game I make video game videos, and I'll, I'm gonna leave that in the video just as an example of my ADHD. I saw a video that Crank yeah. Gameplays, aka Ethan, um, made on uh, ADHD toys and fidgets and fidget toys, fidget things, I guess. Um, and I and I wanted to make a video on what it's like for me to have ADHD um, And in this video basically what I'm gonna be talking about is the Is the problems that I run into with my ADHD, but also the things that I think um, I benefit from and right now um, I'm actually playing with some slime because it, it kind of helps me uh, process things and um, actually that takes me to one point one negative point about having ADHD is basically when I was at school I would just get in trouble all the time because I was I'd be beating on the desk like and I didn't know that that was part of a, a, a problem with my ADHD until I talked to my doctor uh, which he told me that's just how my brain processes things so problem number one is just being Is just not being able to focus in school. It's just as plain as that. Um, I have a couple of notes on my computer here, so I'm just going to be reading off of those. Now, the second point that I wrote down was uh, it's hard to read anything. So uh, if you if you guys are um, new to the channel, I make gaming videos where on there I cut out a lot of the um, the things that I that like if I'm reading something from like a, a letter or like an article in the within the game, um, I'm cutting out a lot of that because it takes me several takes, like literally sometimes like five minutes at a time, um, and it it's very very frustrating. Sometimes I even like. Uh, just get overwhelmed and and just take like a few seconds away to just relax and not really um... sorry <laughs> I'm just I'm getting so distracted and this is what it's this is what it's like I'm leaving all this in because I, I this is what it's like to have ADHD um, it's very frustrating um, so yeah, reading anything uh, while I'm actually like talking about the game, I'll I'll stumble and then I'll start cutting things out. But Elizabeth will but Elizabeth will have to go through trials to complete the ritual successfully, and I. But Alicia will have to go through the ritual. But Alicia will have to go through rituals to complete the ritual. But Alicia will have to go through trials. But Elizabeth will have to go through trials to complete the ritual successfully and find Alicia's soul. Alicia will come back. Alicia will come back to me in the form of Elizabeth, sister. Today, sister, today will be... I am really nervous to make this video um, just because I know I'm going to mess up a lot. Um, uh, the second point I wrote down, or third rather, is uh, it's hard to work. So like, uh, I work at a grocery store where I slice meats and stuff like that. I work in the deli. And... Um, I'll forget an order or I'll forget the size that they want me to slice it or how much they want me to slice and it's just it's really frustrating to me when I take someone's order and then I have to ask them again and explain to them I'm sorry I have blah 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 and it, it's kind of just like yeah whatever just cut my meat <laughs> um, also like I'll go to the back or I'll be cleaning something or I'll be doing something and I'll completely forget what I'm doing. And I know a lot of other people have that problem too. And that is that is one of the most frustrating things ever to have to backtrack and then come back and try to remember all that stuff. Now it's kind of getting better. So uh, the fourth thing I wrote down is I zone out of a conversation. So I'll be having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody and they'll be just, they'll be talking and then I'll just completely zone out or look at something else or do something else and it's it's really um i'm really self-conscious about that because i i don't want the person to think that i am like not interested in them or not interested in what we're talking about 
Um, it's kind of embarrassing sometimes. The fifth thing is that I get annoying. Um, ADHD people tend to be very annoying um, just because we're hyperactive. Uh, we can't focus on one thing at a time. We have to be doing something constantly like this or uh, we just we can't stop talking or just saying random things that pop into our head. It's it's super it's super crazy. It's super weird. Um, it's not crazy to us because we're normal. It, to us, it's normal and we're used to it because we deal with ourselves every single day. So the next thing is I get distracted easily <laughs> while editing a video or playing a game. Um, I talked about this a little bit earlier in the video, um, but editing is really hard. I actually have two screens here um, where I have my um, now I have my video up here and then my editing stuff down here and after I did that, it helped me out a lot. It helped me out tremendously. Uh, I don't know why. I guess it's because I'm more focused and more like into the actual like editing process. But before I would go and tab out and go and watch videos or like be on my phone. Now I just throw my phone on the bed and and just try to strap down and focus and finish the edit before it's before the videos like do. Um, by the way, I upload every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday for anyone that's interested in that. So a couple of positive points that uh, that I can take away from ADHD and living with it every single day is one, I have a lot of energy. Um, <laughs> energy, in my opinion, is one of the most important things that you can have. Without energy, there's nothing. So if you have an idea in your head that you want to that you want to capitalize on or you want to make something or do something, I feel like ADHD helps me get that little like kick kick start, you know, and really uh and really it really gives me that spark to finally like do something or also it helps with videos and that's another thing it uh it, I, it, I feel like it gives me a frantic personality um where i can just be jumping from one thing to the next and some people might find that annoying but then on the other hand some people might find that funny or they might find it entertaining um, you know, I don't know. I think ADHD is an inability. That's my opinion for, for me specifically. It's an inability for me. Um, uh, inability, is that right? The opposite of disability, whatever the opposite of disability is, it is, it is that for me. Because I feel like I, I feel like I have the energy to do anything. Um, like I feel like I'm freaking Naruto, <laughs> you know? Um, I'd rather have a lot of energy and be annoying than have no energy and be that quiet person that no one really talks to or doesn't really talk or do anything. So finally, a couple ways that I cope with my ADHD is, first of all, things like this or tapping on desks. Um, that one's more annoying than this. Um, sometimes I just let it go. Like I don't hold it in. I just let it go and I scream and dance and run around the house or I'll just, I'll play with my dog or, you know, whatever, anything. Yeah. I, th I think, I think that's everything. I'm going to probably make another video about this. Um, I just, this is kind of just like a spontaneous video i just i literally wrote this script like yesterday if you guys want me to make another video and go more into depth about my adhd just let me know in the comment section uh like this video i know a lot of new people are going to be here let me know what it's like for you to live with adhd i want to hear all about your journeys and how you cope with it what are your positives and negatives about it let's have a conversation all right you guys if you're interested in watching any of my gaming videos click one of these here and it should take you straight to it if you enjoyed today's video don't leave it out liking a like subscribe to data journalism gang and i'll see you guys in the next video baby bye